a study on Rashidul Ganush. <coughs> Let us have a rough idea about pluralism in Islam. Islam is not a group of individual beliefs, rituals, or mannerisms. It is a comprehensive way of life. Islam stresses on uni unity of humanity and it recognizes human diversity and gives valuable principles to deal with racial and religious differences in society. However, in this modern world, Islam is considered as inherently violent and tolerant religion. So, it is great importance to understand the pluralistic perspective of Islamic teaching in order to understand the environment of peaceful coexistence and harmony in the society. There are a number of verses in Quran that gives importance to pluralism. Some of them are quoted before me and I like to quote one more quoting from Quran that is, O humankind, we have created you male and female and made you into communities and tribes so that you may know one another. Surely the noblest amongst you in the sight of God is the most God-fearing of you. God is all-knowing and all-aware. <coughs> Chapter 49 and verse 13. There are many incidents in Islamic history which shows the pluralistic nature of Islam. One of the in instances is when the prominent Christian delegation came from Najran to engage the Prophet in theoretical debate in Medina, its members were not only invited to live in Prophet's mosque, but also allowed to perform their religious practices inside the mosques. And the, there are uh, many more examples in the Islamic history which shows the pluralistic nature. And I like to say that the Abbasids of Baghdad, the Fatims of Cairo, and the Umayyads become the centers of excellence by welcoming and nurturing, nurturing the best minds from different religions, backgrounds, faiths, etc. Consequently, these, these dynasties, through their pluralistic mechanisms, develop powerful and vibrant civilizations. Then I like to go to the Rashid al Ganushi's view on pluralism. Rashid al Ganushi, the Dinga reformer leader of the Tunisia, gives more importance to pluralism. And in his interviews, he gives a wide ideas about the pluralism that is on religious pluralism, cultural pluralism, and political pluralism. The result, of, based on the result of the first election that is held in Tunisia, 52 women members were elected to the parliament, and out of 52 women members, 42 were from Annahda party, and most of them wear hijabs, and the, some of them doesn't wear hijab. It also shows the pluralism. And the constitution of the Tunisia is based on six pillars. One of the most idea is the political pluralism. According to him, he defines the pluralism, political pluralism, that there is no limit to political pluralism other than the condition of rejecting violence and giving anyone the right to found party. And he also says that women enjoy equality, people can establish and join any party, and they have the freedom to adopt any faith. According to the, uh, him, cultural pluralism. He says that Tunisia is the country which have a number of cultural pluralism, and its history shows that it uh, gives importance to cultural pluralism. In his words, he says that 
Tunisia is like a big museum of civilizations. The Romans, the Catholics, the Berbers, and the Islamic history. Uh, the historical sites throughout Tunisia belongs to different civilizations in different areas. Due to the lack of time, I like to conclude my paper. In short, I like to say that Islam gives more importance to pluralism and Rashid al Ganushi is the one of the most important leader in the contemporary world which gives more importance to pluralistic views.